Oh, and, and people think it's so odd to see a black group playing rock and roll. It's not. There was a black group playing rock and roll on every block in my neighborhood when we yeah. growing up. Well, you know, it's funny because when I hear that word, black rock, I, I almost have to laugh. They always make the distinction when they see us playing our music. <laughs> black rock. You never hear anyone say white rock. Rock's origin is black. People watch our shows, they dig it, but I'm not sure if they really get it, get it. When they see us up there playing guitars and doing, you know, rock guitar solos, and, you know, not necessarily having, you know, crazy harmonies and laid back, snap your finger type rules. They're kind of like, oh, they're doing something different. Uh, I love the black rock scene. Um, it exists. I think we definitely could stand a, some more exposure because people just live music in general. All that shit, that's us, you know. And the part that pisses me off is we don't want to claim it. We want to claim dumb shit, you know. Why? Why is it folks still believe the rockets for white boys? It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. It's the dumbest shit. Black women on rock. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You know. I, what the fuck is Nona Hendrix if black women don't rock? You know, God, I love that woman. Grace Jones. You know, here it is. You got Lady Gaga who's imitating everybody in the world. And nobody wants to give her credit from the main person she's been imitating from the beginning. Grace Jones. You know, that's rock. That's black rock, goddammit. It seems like, you know, they're not that open-minded. A lot of it is more towards either it's with the blues or it's rap, you know. Or you got some people in between singing R&B or something like that. And I feel like one thing I need to just open up to more should be more acceptance of different genres, you know. So it's like I had a guitar player actually tell me one time, like, man, you have to leave here because all people think about is blues and, you know, rap. I'm like, you know, it was true, but I think I can change that, you know. I think a lot of artists in Chicago, black artists specifically, are branching out. You know, a lot of us are grew up on rock and love rock in all its many shapes and forms. But somehow or another, a lot of, I think a lot of black people believe that they don't have a place in rock music when that's absolutely our place and created it. <laughs> and it's okay to if you want to rock, it's okay. Everybody don't want. Everybody's not interested in doing jail jingles. Who was it? Fats Domino, sure. Chuck Berry, sure. Little Richard. Sure. They were all doing the rock, and everybody accepted it. Was not a big deal. You know because people need to understand. It's so easy for them to emulate what has been created by someone of color and make so much money off of it. And a person who, a person of color, they can barely make a penny. They can barely pay their cell phone bill. Or a mob of Elvis Presley's. And, and, and our people help those Elvis Presley's exist. You know, it's crazy. When people talk about, uh the Rock Roll Hall of Fame, and the, always at the same, always the same argument. Well, it's supposed to be Rock Roll Hall of Fame. You know, why do they have uh, Michael Jackson in there, or why do they have uh, who's probably the one person that I remember they were. They were I mean, even Prince, to a certain extent, got kind of got that conversation a little bit. But then people, when he did that performance at the Hall of Fame, the people saw how who didn't know Prince, and they saw how badass guitar player he was. They even had to step back. God, I used to get so mad. When Lenny came out, I'm a huge Lenny Kravitz fan, but a lot of my friends or some guys, oh man, you know that dude, whatever man, he he black guy doing rock. I'm like, dude, we we we, we invented that. Because if you really listen to a lot of the so-called black rock bands, listen to them real close and pay attention to the way the flow of the music is going, the way the chords are being hit, the way the singer is singing, and look at the movements. You'll know from that, this is from ages ago. And if you really study 
the history of rock and go back, you'll start to see where all of this fell into place. And people now are getting to the point where they can actually say, okay, I can do this. And people need to know about this. And we all need to come together and put it out there so people can see it.